Welcome back to Talk and Ball, presented by the new Ram Outdoorsman. All right, now I'm going to show you this book right here. It's called Water the Bamboo. The guy next to me wrote it, Greg Bell, former Roosevelt High School basketball star down at Oregon, too. And he wrote this book. And son of a gun, somehow Chip Kelly found it, and he read it. It inspired him. You end up talking to the team, too, did yeah, you not? Yeah, I did. Tell us about the book. What's the philosophy? What are you talking about when you talk about water and bamboo? <laughs> well, there's over 1,500 species of bamboo, and giant timber bamboo is a remarkable plant. Bamboo farmers will take a bamboo seed and bury it six feet deep and water it for a year and see nothing. They'll water it for another year and see nothing. They'll water it for a third year and see nothing. But once it touches the surface, it will grow over 90 feet in 60 days. 90 feet in 60 days. All right, now take that and bring that into our world. Right. And really, I, what I do is I, I re help leaders revitalize their teams and organizations. What I was looking for is to distill uh, some principles down into 21 steps in this book that would help people in a practical way understand what that meant for themselves and their, and their businesses and their lives and so on. And what I found, I've studied successful teams, successful individuals for all I, you know, all my life, and I distilled all those principles in this concept. But water the bamboo is a philosophy that most successful people do. You've had a tremendous amount of success in your career, and you watered and you watered and you watered. Sometimes you didn't see any results, but then you rocketed 90 feet in 60 days. That's what most successful people do. And that's what the ducks did. Hmm. You know. And, and some, did somebody give the book to Chip Kelly, or yeah. how did he find your book? Well, it's a, that's a great story. I was uh, doing a leadership training in St. Louis, uh, and uh, uh, I, I was doing my talk, and right after my talk was the Civil War game from, for last year. Race back to my hotel to see the Civil War game. I'm in this restaurant bar, scream when the Ducks score, and uh, no, uh, and all the people in the bar are like, what are you doing? I'm watching Civil War. They go, what? And I actually went upstairs and watched the game with my wife on Skype. So, And of course, the Ducks win, but I came back to uh, emails from all over the place, tons of emails, and one of the emails said, it's you know, it's uh, great to see all the great work you've done around, and it's great what Chip Kelly said about you and your book uh, after the Civil War game. And I, I didn't hear that message, but there's a video link in there in which he was talking about the book, and uh, and he and I talked about that. And uh, to your question, how an intern gave him the book, he loved it and sort of helping, and he also gave it to the coaches, and and they, they used the philosophy for the team. So. And you've had a connection somehow. We got a question on Facebook from Chad, I think. Wanting to know about your connection to Mark Few, the Gonzaga basketball coach. Mark Few was my roommate down at uh, down at uh, University of Oregon. Really? Yeah, we were roommates. We we're you know best friends basically, and uh, he uh, wrote the forward on on, the, on Water the Bamboo, and uh, I've talked to his team as well. So. Wow. Yeah, you know, this business. is. I, I'm, I'm amazed, and, and I'm a firm believer that. If you can conceive it, eventually it will happen. And it seems like what you're, what, what, uh, what, you're, what you're intimating is that if you have to be patient and you have to be diligent, but more importantly, you have to be faithful. You have to believe right. that those things that, that you are trying to make happen will eventually come to be. And if you do that patiently and diligently, right. eventually it will happen for you. Right. And Tony, you're absolutely right. One of the things is I think that a lot of us have left the farm. You know, but I say don't leave the farmer's mentality. My grandfather was a farmer, and I think that we have to sort of have be more patient with ourselves. We live in an instant gratification society. We think things are going to happen quickly for us in our businesses and so on, and it doesn't, it doesn't happen that way. You study anybody that's successful. I say it takes a lot of nights to be an overnight success. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of instant gratification, relating this to the college football world, I feel like we get a new coach and a team, and you expect immediate gratification and immediate results what how would this philosophy apply to that that's a good question because uh, most people say well chip kelly's only been there for two years mm -hmm. but the reality if you look at their coaching staff they probably have over 100 years of experience in terms of uh, how many, uh, like Don Pelham and guys that have been there for a long, long time coaching that team. So there's some continuity mm -hmm. within their staff. I should give this book to my boss so that he can read it and understand that even though I'm not there yet, eventually, just give me time. It's <laughs> 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 the book, not, not for excuses. <laughs> Did you drop that by my boss? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta be patient with it. Is this coming? You just believe. I, I think that there's a real important part here, though, that, you know, sort of that I'm intimating here is it's really a lot of people want the bank. Bamboo. They want the harvest. They, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But it's really about the water, the effort. There's not any place I've seen success come before work but the dictionary. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have to put in the work and the time until whatever it is your dream is, as but, you sort of talk about. You know, it's interesting you bring that up because that is all that I, I, I firmly believe in that. And then you watch guys and you look at today's NBA. And today's NBA is, is the result of 
ESPN and guys seeing the highlight play but not understanding and I happen to, to have personal knowledge Michael Jordan spent an hour a day just working on left-handed scoop shots right. and people would see him on TV and think he just got out on the court and it came natural not understanding how much time right. he put in to be able to make that shot in that game situation well you know you know that I mean I say if you want you know if you want to go from good to great in basketball or anything like that take about 10,000 shots if you're willing to put in that kind of time and that kind of work you're absolutely right. And I think that then you sort of see the lack of fundamentals that happen too, where people think it's just going to happen overnight, but it takes time. You got to put a lot of time in the gym. You know, I, I, I did, a, I spoke to a class once and, you know, you, you see about all these exorbitant NBA contracts and people think everybody makes that kind of money, but we actually broke it down in class one day and I, and I already put it into a spreadsheet, but the number of hours the average basketball player puts in before he ever gets paid, well, basketball player my age because we had to wait till we were 22 23 you know what I'm talking about <laughs> right. now you come out at 18 but right. you know I started playing when I was 10 so from 10 to 23 right. I put in four hours a day and never saw a dime right and and when you add all of that up it, it really isn't a tremendous amount of money for the average basketball player certainly for the far end guys and I don't I don't belittle what I've done in or what any player does but sure. I think the understanding that it takes time it doesn't come instantly right. Mm -hmm. all right we're gonna have more duck football talk we're gonna take a first look at Oregon versus Auburn later on but right now let's get back we're gonna come back to the blazer game tonight and look at that slump buster of a victory we hope over the Clippers coming back tonight on talking ball Thank you.